Our next award is the most progressive award. We'd like to invite Mr. John Hughes, partner of Deloitte, to present this award. Distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and what an inspiring evening. I have to say that, just sitting and listening to some of the stories, which is always the fascinating part. I'm always amazed by entrepreneurs and the risks they've taken to do that. On behalf of my partners at Deloitte and my, uh, the, the huge team that we have, their amazing callings I have, we're extremely proud, proud and honored to present the, this year's most progressive entrepreneur award. At Deloitte, we're committed to helping entrepreneurs and their families succeed in every way. As Canada's largest professional services firm, we proudly serve many of our country's best entrepreneurs. We believe that the entrepreneurs and their families have helped form our Canadian society and the richness of the country that we all get to live in every day. I'm delighted as, uh, to be with my wife, Julie, tonight. We don't get to uh, share too many business events together and to support the ACCC, ACCE, and all of, uh, all of the recipients and award winners tonight. I'd like to point out we have a long history uh, with the ACCE. Andy Yap, uh, who you met earlier, Joanna Lowe, and my colleague Keith Kwan are all here tonight, big supporters and big champions back at Deloitte of all the good work being done here. Now, the ACC has established several criteria that make a prog progressive company. The hardest part is the tough part, and that's conducting business day in, day out, creating operational excellence, overcoming many of the challenges all of us face today, as you know, a very difficult environment, but succeeding and coming out the other end, and most importantly, celebrating the talent within those organizations. Uh, one of my other roles at Deloitte is I lead our Canada's Best Managed Companies program, and whether it's that program or this group or the India Chamber that we deal with, it always comes back to the people in your organization. You heard some of the CEOs speak with pride about the people they deal with day in, day out. And fundamentally, that's all we have, is each other and the ability to create a culture and a vision that we all share. So congratulations again to all recipients and winners. With that, I'd like to announce this year's most progressive entrepreneur award goes to The 2013 ACCE Most Progressive Award, the winner, Jordan Dang, CIK Telecom. All right, it's time to watch the video about our winner. When Jordan Deng immigrated to Canada from China in 2000, he knew he could put his master's degree in engineering to good use. In China, Jordan worked in Nortel and established an IT consulting background that would help keep him in good stead for forging ahead into the growing telecom industry here in Canada. Jordan formed CIK Telecom, which stands for Customer is King, in 2003. The company first started off getting involved in the wholesale calling card business. Then, as that market slowed down, Jordan ventured into the IP phone space by 2005. High-speed internet started to become more popular by 2006, and Jordan quickly jumped onto the bandwagon to capture that market. By 2007, CIK had over 6,000 customers. He started to talk directly with Bell and Rogers to get more capacity over the next few years, and his business started to really grow. Today, CIK has a network in each Canadian province, which means if you move from one province to another, you can continue to use internet and phone services provided by CIK. CIK has offices in Mississauga, Toronto, Vancouver and Montreal, as well as offices in three locations in China to provide 24-7 customer service. Our company generates like more than 1,000 new customers every month. It's because like we treat every customer as a king. We want them happy and we provide a high quality of service. CIK has aggressive plans to continue its progressive growth, planning to expand more into the Cantonese and Indian communities, and also increasing its market share into Western Canada. 
I believe the key to success is being able to deal with constant change and being ahead of the curve. Jordan treats his staff as part of his family, and his dedication and hard work are infectious. We spend a lot of time and effort to constantly upgrade our infrastructure and the R&D. Jordan hopes to eventually build his own television station empire using his countrywide network as a platform. We look forward to seeing CIK every day on TV in the near future. For his ability to see into the future and his talent to provide alternate forms of communications far and wide, please join the ACCE in congratulating Mr. Jordan Deng as he receives Most Progressive Award of the Chinese Canadian Entrepreneur Awards for 2013. Will Mr. Yeah, Jordan Deng please come to the stage to receive the award? And thank you so much for your help, Mr. Hughes. Uh, first of all, um, I'm very glad to see like uh, our uh, achievement in the past has been recognized by ACCE tonight. Uh, thanks for the uh, Felix Liang uh, nomination. Um, in the past of uh, 10 years, CIK has been uh, very quiet, uh, but uh, grew up uh, crazy. And uh, um, we, we started uh, from two people, and uh, now we have uh, uh, one, 150 people. We have uh, over uh, 60,000 uh, customers, and every month we have 1,500 new customers joining us, CIK, uh, joining our CIK family. Our revenue in the past about uh, five years increased about uh, uh, 800% in the past five years. Now we are the largest, uh, uh, one of the largest independent ISP in Canada, and we own the largest internet coverage in Canada. So where is uh, Chinese? There's a CIK internet. Uh, <laughs> I had a, a very interesting uh, conversation with uh, one of uh, with our banker uh, a couple of months ago. Our banker, uh, after reviewed uh, our uh, financial statement, asked me uh, some question. Uh, he said, uh, uh, "He uh, the banker said, uh, Jordan, uh, could you tell me um, when you started the company uh, back to 2003?" You estimated uh, uh, about uh, fifty thousand uh, dollar per year. Uh, year two thousand ten, your revenue is uh, around two million. Uh, in two year two thousand eleven, your revenue uh, go up to four million. Uh, by uh, August two thousand twelve, your revenue is uh, eight million. Uh, till now, like uh, your monthly uh, revenue is over one million. Could you please tell me what happened uh, to CIK? So uh, I think, uh, I think uh, the many of the friends also ask me the same question. I, and I guess, like, uh, I guess uh, all the guests here, most of the guests here are also who the, want to ask why. Uh, there are many of the reasons for the success of CIK today. But the most important thing it's the people behind of me and behind the company. So first of all, I should thank to my wife and uh, my parent. Uh, they were taking care of my uh, kids and uh, uh, my, uh, my life so I can concentrate uh, for work for over 10 years. Uh, second, I should thank to uh, my previous boss in uh, Notel, uh, CJ Lee, and uh, also uh, Vinci Dion. Uh, they were uh, opened the door for me uh, for the telecom world and the life in Canada. 
Uh, third, I would thank to uh, all of my uh, uh, partners and employees. They were being helping me uh, operating the company. Uh, they are sitting uh, at the desk uh, uh, at the table 39. It's over there. And uh, last, I should thank to uh, all of our uh, customers uh, who are supporting us. Uh, one of the, our customers told me, as long as I'm alive, I'm your customer. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Mr. Dane. Mr. Dane, so <laughs> what will be the, um, the revenue target for this year? Mr. Dane? Hello? <laughs> Sky's 100 <limit>. million. <laughs> Congratulations.